What was your objection to it, Shola? When he said London is no longer English, people are reading into that that he meant it's not white enough. The bottom line is this. Re re I mean, referring to UK cities or London as non-English is a key point here. Britishness is not determined by the colour of our skin. Well, he does go on to clarify. He said, actually, it's, it's not about racism, it's about culturalism. And he mm. said that it's not as polite as it was, humorous, it's not as friendly as it was, those sorts of things. That is, what is he was such saying. nonsense. This is a man who, who left the UK because it's full of foreigners and moved to a foreign country. Mm. To become an immigrant, please, let's not take him seriously. Mm. What's your view? Well, that particular point is a bit difficult to defend, I agree. But I think in terms of the, the racism issue, I don't see how this has anything to do with race. Look at the England football team, it's full of black players. No one would question the Englishness, right? They're English. Uh, it's not about race. What he's talking about, I think, is that look at London. 42% of people who live in London are like me, foreign born, right? So there's a very significant immigrant population in London. Obviously, if you have half of a city, essentially, that are people who are first-generation immigrants, that is going to make it less of the local culture. No, no, it's just a fact no, of life, isn't no, it? No, no, the fact of that is, mm. and you're absolutely right, but the fact of that is... <laughs> it's just a fact of life, isn't no, it? No, no, the fact of that is, mm. and you're absolutely right, but then you're absolutely right, but then you're absolutely right, but the, the city has changed. That's fine. It's For changed. But years. to say it's become less English is ridiculous. Either it's, it's okay. a stupid comment so let me or give you an example. Comment. Well, no, it's not... Well, it's not just, first of all, it's, it's nothing racist. to do with race, but l look at this, look at it like this. If 50% of the people who lived in London were Scottish, mm. would we be okay to say that it's less English than it was when it was 10%? We would say it would is British. Okay? Well, no, but answer this question. Would it be OK or not? Would it be OK? I'm trying mm. to get my head around that. If 50% of the people who lived in London mm. were Scottish, yes. would it be OK to say that London has become less English? Well, if they were Scottish, yeah. Right, but, but, so what's the difference? But the... <laughs> <laughs> that comment was all. Well, there's no difference. It's talking about it. do you do you not do you not do you not consider yourself as English? No. Why is that? Because I'm, I'm British. I'm, so, so when, I'm a British. So when you go person. to Scotland, if you go to Scotland, so where are you? Where have you come from? What do you say? Well, I'd, I'd say I live in London. I'm originally from but, Russia. But, but <laughs> why can't you it's say I'm from England? It's because why? I'm not from England. But I wasn't. You are. I know I'm not. I you, wasn't born here. You, I didn't grow up here. I came here when I was. When you're in Scotland and and there's and you're on the road and there's an arrow pointed towards England, do you not go that? direction because that's where you're from England why I'm not can't from you just... England I wasn't born here I, I didn't but, but grow you just said you're my... from La are you from London no but he's not talking about values, he's not talking about culture, he's no. talking about people. And that means it's got racist no. connotations. He didn't say anything it's about bigoted. people. Of course he did. He, he, he it's said not that the city, English. The city oh, has become uh, less English. The other That's what I just think, It's okay. not as polite. I'm sorry, so immigrants are not polite? What the heck? I think you could probably say it's about lots of cosmopolitan cities in Britain and across the world. That's the only thing, I don't know why, you know... So you're making my point for me, is we have lots of immigrants. So he's not racist, just a very naughty boy. Now, no disrespect if I butcher this name, Constantine Cassin or Cassin, I believe is his name. The comedian that just went on the show, you know, the only guy on the on the panel who was cool, calm, composed, other than my man all the way to the right who had the slight beard who didn't say a word to my knowledge. But that was my first time seeing Constantine, anything featuring him. And I have to say, this is a great example of logic versus emotional inconsistency. People getting heated, people getting upset, people wanting to bash and belittle and just interrupt and interject, not let you get your point across. We see this all the time now. I'm not sure if he's a God-fearing man or not. Not sure what his day-to-day -day looks like. But hang in there, bro. It's rough being the only sane person in the room, which clearly you were. He destroyed their argument, in my personal opinion. All they did was get loud, interrupt, disrupt, whatever you want to label it as. The best that they could, they attempted to. And he stayed calm while everyone else just kept getting louder, up in, up in the DB, up in the decibels, and trying to correct them. And it's insane. People could be this naive that people could be this dumbed down and they can't just let people get their point across have a civil discourse without bashing and it is his 50 percent scottish comment was right on the money and the fact that that presenter they couldn't grasp the the parallel with a city being 50 percent immigrant just shows the hypocrisy and the the clamoring just to be offended just wanting to get upset about something now, what's most telling of all and a glaring issue and, you know, the elephant in the room, as some would say, is there's not one English person by descent on this discussion panel.
God, please help the human race. And specifically, these people right here that are clearly in pain and confused, which is why this woke agenda, this race talk, we're all one race, human race. We all bleed red, but they want to focus on race and, you know, pick and choose and identify as this, that, and the third. If they keep pushing this agenda, things are going to get wonky. They're already all out of whack. But just in case you were unaware, pain and confusion, like we see here, is a perfect invitation for prayer. It's the perfect time to get in touch with the Almighty, to either start building or keep Keep building upon the relationship with God. Drop to your knees and pray for clarity, pray for wisdom, pray for him to lead you where he wants you to go. Not with all these woke ideologies and, and just agendas that make no sense. Pray to God Almighty and he'll direct you to the truth because there is no truth without God. James 5 verses 13 through 16 says, is any among you suffering? Then he must pray. Is anyone cheerful? He is to sing praises. Is anyone among you sick? Then he must call for the elders of the church and they are to pray over him, anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. And the prayer offered in faith will restore the one who is sick and the Lord will raise him up. And if he has committed sins, they will be forgiven him. Therefore, confess your sins to one another and pray for one another so that you may be healed. The effective prayer of a righteous man can accomplish much. So in short, you need to be in constant contact with God. You need to pick up that 1-800 free prayer line, no matter what the situation, what, when, you're, when you're facing tough times, things of that nature, you need to be surrounded by older and much more wise, saved brothers and sisters of the kingdom that can counsel and comfort you, which in turn will end up refreshing you and, and then release that burden off of you. So you don't have to go into these, these sets and on live television, make yourself look like a fool. Like Abraham Lincoln said, it's better to be thought of a fool than open your mouth and relieve all doubt and then to actually let people know. So don't go in there with this, this animosity and hate in your heart. Pray for clarity, pray for peace and accept Christ as Lord and Savior so you can have that eternal peace and salvation. And then you wouldn't go on here hating and bashing and, you know, having to pick these little minuscule, minute details that nobody cares about where you come from. Nobody cares what pigmentation you got or don't got or any of that stuff. We care about love. We care about hospitality. We care about lifting up each other and being salt and light of the earth. But these people... It's clear as day they don't know God. It's time to get to know him. But that's all I got for today. If you enjoyed hearing Constantine, you enjoyed my perspective or whatever value you got from this video, don't forget to smash that like button. Subscribe if you're not already. Ring the bell so you get notified anytime I post a video. Comment below. Let me know some other videos by Constantine I got to check out or any information. Is he God fearing? Is he is he Jesus loving? Does he you know believe in the triune God, Father, Son, Holy Spirit? Y'all let me know down below. Outside of that, if you want to support my channel, you can get awesome shirts like this. Born again one right here. That's what I am. Born again died to my wicked ways, pick up my cross. Now I pursue Christ every single day and always will promote the gospel. Woe is me if I don't preach the gospel. That's how we roll over here. Me and my house, we serve the Lord. So I don't know about y'all, but if you want to be on this channel, that's what you're going to get. If not, scroll to another video. This isn't the type of content for you, but I don't want to get off into a crazy rant. My wife made this lovely shirt. She's got a bunch of other designs on her Etsy store, which can be found down below in the description. All other links to support the channel are down there as well. By no means do you have to. I just appreciate y'all showing up. Until next time, Godspeed. I'm gone.